If you love chocolate, then mark your calendar as the 9th Annual Chocolate Fest returns to Jonesboro on February 9th and 10th. Here to get us ready for the sweet event in Tennessee's oldest town is T. McLeod. How you doing, T? I'm doing great. How you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. I'm yeah. talking about chocolate. Oh, I mean, gosh. It's always good to You can't do much better chocolate. than that. That's yeah. right. Chocolate Fest, ninth annual one of these. It's a big yes. success in Jonesboro, isn't it? It is. It sells out every year, right. so we do recommend if people are interested in coming, you better get your tickets early because right. it's a guaranteed sellout. Two days going of this going on, but kind of kind of fill us in on what's going to be happening during uh, during Chocolate Fest. Okay, so we have four different time slots uh, during the four days. There's two on Friday. There's two on Saturday. Mm -hmm. The first one on Friday is in the afternoon from one to four o'clock. And then there's one from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. The 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock will also include what is referred to as chocolate after dark. Okay. Where there will be some libations. <laughs> and so you'll need your ID if you're going to secure that. <laughs> 21 and over there. 21 and over on yeah. that one. Um, but people will uh, simply meander through town uh, and they'll go from shop to shop. Uh, get their chocolate treats. There'll be some service uh, banks and other entities that will set up, like in the storytelling center and all. Um, the two time slots on Saturday will be 10, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. and then 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And we're looking at some video of past Chocolate Fests, and you, literally, if you're wanting to experience chocolate in every form, you're going to probably get it here. So. Yes, that's right. There'll be truffles, there'll be barks, there'll be <laughs> Putting who knows what strawberries kind of dipped in That's chocolate. That's right. Yes. yes. So just different ways, and this is a great way. You said meandering through town. This is a great way to get folks to come to downtown Jonesboro and experience all that it has to offer. Oh yes, we have quite a diversity in different shops in downtown Jonesboro. Mm -hmm. Anything from art galleries to women's dress shops to old time candy stores and just all kinds of different uh, shops available and you'll get to shopping will be possible the right. stores will be open so not only can you get your chocolate dish you can also trade locally with one of the merchants right. in downtown Jonesboro. And you know when you talk about you go to store to store and you be able to get so get your little chocolate get your <laughs> chocolate fix going there but you're also going to be able to see the different stores and just explore uh, just explore Jonesboro if you never have before. Yes, matter of fact on Friday and Saturday the Heritage Alliance will have historic tours available too. Great. For someone who's never been to Jonesboro, for five dollars you'll get the history of Jonesboro. And it's just a great way to find out the charming little town and what we have to offer there. And you said between 30 and 35 different different businesses taking part in this. That's right. Yes, we'll have a lot of different uh, businesses. Almost all the downtown merchants are involved. And then uh, like I said, some of the folks out on 11E e will come in, they'll set mm -hmm. up at the Storytelling Center, and they will have chocolate offerings as well. What are some of the chocolate, I mean, we mentioned a few there. What are so? have you heard about some of the chocolates that are going to be available? Well, everybody sort of keeps that uh, tight uh, ah, keep vested, it close to the vest. So, so, so no one uh, duplicates one another. But it's so all going to be delicious. It's all going to be, it always is. All right. And, and uh, of course, if you if you don't want chocolate and you need something a little more savory, there's some wonderful restaurants. In That's there. right. Well. Yes, we have several restaurants yeah. where people can, and we'll have some food trucks available too. Awesome. There'll so, be some face painting yeah. and some old time photos, and we might even have a barbershop quartet going around and singing love songs. So we'll, we'll chocolate's in the air, love is in the air. There you go. T. McLeod, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you. All right, folks, we're going to tell you about the ninth annual Jonesboro Chocolate Fest. It's coming up February 9th and 10th. If you want to find out more, there's a website right there, jbochocolatefest.com for more information.